All right, gearheads, welcome to Geared Towards Excellence, where we, like we always do with Craftsman Real Estate, take a craftsman approach to excellence. And today we're going to dive into a side-by-side -side comparison of two of the best tote bags possible. And let me tell you a little bit about the use case that we personally have with these totes and we'll get you a little better understanding of why how we use them so in the back of the truck i like and i'm talking like a truck bed i'm not like a utility line worker <clears throat> anything like that i'm just the real estate broker that runs a property management company and every once in a while needs to pull up to a property and be able to r grab my stuff rock out a couple quick fixes to get someone out of an emergency and then be on to my day. So a key usefulness for a good open mouth tote is to sit in the back of my truck to take up as little space as possible, but to be a very convenient organized way to keep the necessary tools for my day-to-day -to -day job. So that's the use case. Let me show you what we're working with here. All right, to start us off, we've got the Husky 20 inch tool tote with tool wall. And then side-by-side -side comparison to the Milwaukee Packout System 15-inch open mouth tool tote. And just to put apples to zebras here, this one off the shelf is $50. This one off the shelf is $100. And I've noticed that Milwaukee has been really working aggressively to pump out some killer new tools like this stellar, awesome... Uh, framing hammer here and a couple other tools that I've got. And w along with that, they have really added some value to the pack out system. They kind of took what Bosch and DeWalt were working on about five years ago and did that on hyperspeed. But when you see this for a hundred and this for 50, it begs the question, is it really worth double? And what I wanted to get into today is very briefly the usefulness of this layout as an open mouth bag versus this layout as an open mouth bag. So let's pull these over here. Let me introduce you to my little staging tools. Got a framing hammer. We've got two uh, like open mouth clamps. We've got a uh, set of pliers and a new tape measure. And so as far as open mouth bag bags go, kind of the key utility is that you've got easy in, easy out, and you've got accessibility even while you carry it and, uh, and you know leave it sitting in the back of a vehicle. So the, the Milwaukee definitely has the advantage of integrating with the pack out system. That's what this info is gonna tell you about. I've got this uh, pack out wrench set to illustrate this on. And so you will have a nice, eventually it will click in here. This will click in right there and allow you to stack your systems. So not necessarily uh, a key moneymaker with the you know, with the wrench that we have here, but if you're putting it on top of a stackable rolling tote or any of the other things that work with the packout system, then that's pretty cool. Otherwise, you've got some open-ended like screwdriver and slot style things on the end. You've got your bigger pockets on this side. You've got an open canister here for easy in and outs of hammers and such. And then you've got a lot, uh, a lot of pockets, but all, all congregated on this side. And so this is the key downside that I can see with this, this layout, is you've got your three slots, slot pockets right here, and then you've got these small, bigger and bigger you got this like cascade of pockets and you've got some pencils on the side or some drill bits and then maybe a flashlight here. And so it, it's nice, it's organized. It's got these, these uh, cinch cords on the side. This is nice and strong. It's got a zipper pocket here with some padding on the bottom, zipper pocket here. So I like it all, I like all of this. What I don't love is obviously the price tag. And I don't, I don't love how this feels for double the money. I don't like the tallness of it. And I don't love that all of this side is open and all of this side is set to be a chaotic mess of tools. Let's see how that 
stacks up against the Husky 20 inch tool tote for half the price. This tote reminds me of the old school tool, you know, like those wooden tool caddies. And while this is a bummer, here's, here's a framing hammer, 22 ounce framing hammer, and it's too long to use with the tool wall. So for my purposes, I want to remove this tool wall. We'll do that in just a moment. And then we'll drop this hammer in and it will fit the length of that, but you also lose four pockets on the tool wall. What I do like about this quite a bit is that these pockets that line your tool bag are a good size. They're varied. And because of the way they're spaced out, with this open, you've got stuff in the middle and you've got a very efficient perimeter use that's going to keep your tool tote nice and organized. Let me show you another thing that I like about this layout. And this is perhaps cheesy, but I love our little metal hook here for your easy on and off uh, clip. And I love these exterior pockets. Not that the Milwaukee tote doesn't have that, but these I find to be a little more useful and a little more common sense. You still got your, your large, even padded end pocket here. The padded is a really nice touch there. You've got lots of drop pockets on the other side, and then you've got your, your hand hold and your other anchor for your shoulder strap. So as far as the general layout goes, I find the Husky to be nice and spacious, even though you know they are very comparable in size. I find the Husky to be nice and spacious, and this layout is nice and appreciable. You don't have the porting with the packout system, but when you factor in that this is literally 50% the cost, and you can factor in that all the other storage things from Husky compared to Milwaukee are going to be about 50% the cost, I would venture to ask, well, do we want to be paying double for the same functionality? If not, then my recommendation would be grab a Husky and see how it works for you. You'll have lots to love and it should work nicely for you for the long haul. So check it out. It's the 20 inch tool tote with tool wall available at all Home Depot stores versus the Milwaukee 15 inch tote. My choice, Husky all the way. All right, gearheads, thanks for tuning in. Hope that we geared you up to make a good choice on the totes. And I'm still playing around with the use case for the tote. I love the idea because my one of my go-to most used things is this little belt tool clip with about nine different organizer pockets. And I found that it's a great place to organize pliers, pencil, you know, a uh, different type of utility knife, the things that I need pretty predictably on all the small calls. Like I keep a flathead and a Phillips screwdriver and a couple uh, electric outlet tester, uh, a voltage, like a very small voltage detector, things like that that allow me to say, hey, let me grab my kit. But if I have the ability to keep a broader tool base on, on my person in the truck as I'm going around, then I've got an ability to avoid redundancies and respond more quickly to things. And though that's not my primary role, it's something that benefits me to have the equipment with me to a degree. And so this is something that as Craftsman Real Estate sp expands and scales, we wanna equip all of our, our people in the field to be able to respond to things so we can cut down on response times. That's happier tenants, that's happier owners, that's lower costs overall, and for the, for the low cost of a well kitted toolkit. So the tote seems great for us. What about you? How do you think that a tote would be useful? Do you think it'd be useless? Let us know. Let us know what you thought of the review. And if there are two products you'd love to see pitted against each other, especially brands that compete in the same space, one of the things that, that I, as a total gearhead, think would be awesome to see is real comparisons of the usefulness of products. So we want to keep getting better and better. We want to serve you well, and we want to create a community geared around excellence. Thanks for tuning in. Have a great day.